Hello YouTube, Only One Shinobi here, bringing you a look at Black Gold Online Beta. Uh, it went live recently, June uh, June twentieth, and uh, I played a little bit, but I haven't had a chance to upload any videos. Uh, so hopefully, I can upload some things before it goes stale or before um, we all figure it out. So uh, today, then, just to show you what the game is like. Uh, we're going to take a look at the character classes, uh, character races, and, and professions, uh, classes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, just log in through Facebook. And forgive me for the sound. Uh, it's going to get loud. Maybe. I haven't figured out the sound system yet. So it looks like uh, Black Gold Online basically boasts two, two factions like most uh, MMORPGs these days. We have um, maybe Eisen, Eisenhorst, Eisenhorst in the Erlendier. Forgive me if I butchered that completely. Um, and one of the defining characteristics of this game is uh, that it's sort of steampunk meets fantasy. Uh, and as you can see from their crest, it looks like Eisenhorst is mostly steampunk and the Erlendier is fantasy. So for those of you out there, you can choose which faction you'd like to go for. Um, you can read below here, it looks like Eisenhorst uh, Survival and Development uh, Conquest or Death, it says. Uh, and then Erlendier is, is Life Energy, Natural Resources. So I think basically machines and magic. Uh, but let's take a look at what races they offer. So, hey dwarf. So, uh, right now there's only four playable uh, races, but uh, I read some others supposed to be about six, including vampires, so that should be a little bit interesting. Um, but for now there's only four. On the Isenhorse side, this first one here is dwarves. So pretty, pretty standard um, race on, on, you know, fantasy RPGs. Um, you know, high in defense, etc, etc, etc. Uh, dwarf. There you go. Uh, one thing I would like to mention ah. is that if you go one step further, and we'll do this later next episode perhaps, is that the dwarves, um, they took an interesting look at the character creation side here. They're not, uh, these short, fat, hairy creatures like in most, uh, most animals. You know, these are actually beautiful. I mean, they're, they're still good looking. She looks less like a dwarf and more like, um, I don't know, a nymph. So, you have a lot of options here. Um, skin color, etc, etc. For now, let's just keep looking. Uh, so here's a dwarf, then. Uh, they're strong and resilient. Uh, we have Givantian. Again, sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, and these are humans that have moved west um, and I guess forged an alliance with dwarves. Um, and then on the other side, the fantasy side, we have the Kosh. Now these people are sort of um, magical, it says diplomacy and growth, magical diplomatic cat people. Um, at first, I wasn't really aware they were cats, um, but you'll see that they have a tail. So they are indeed sort of cat people. Um, yeah, it looks a bit like Avatar, I guess, if you ask me. So if you like Avatar, you might like this. You can play as one. A lot like Avatar, actually. And that's uh, the Kosh. And we also have a huge home. Uh, and the things here says they're calm and tranquil people, romantic poets, passionate scholars, etc. It sounds like, um, well, just like what it said. So, so uh, I guess we didn't go over the uh, passives, but that's okay. We'll do that when we're actually creating a character. Uh, for now, those are the four classes. Uh, I mean, the four races. As for the classes, then, there's a wide variety of classes. Uh, this first one here is a Blade Master. Uh, basically, looks like a two-handed, two-handed swordsman. 
with Beastmaster. This will probably be your your hunter types. Um, and they use this ginormous axe with the help of uh, but yeah, these are your hunters. They get pets. Um, perhaps they go invisible. So they're basically your hunter slash rogue. With spell swords. Uh, and this is sort of... I guess this is skilled in magic and melee. Um, it sounds sort of like you're I don't know, a battle caster or... Uh, Warrior Mage or something. Imperial Sword, Summon a Sword, etc. So it looks like a... You know, yeah, Battle Mage. A Pyromancer. Oh, and that looks like your basic, um, you know, Fire Spellcaster. Oh, it says Fire and Lightning. But why call it a Pyromancer? Uh, fire and Lightning then. Geomancer, which is Earth Magic. Which is one of their, I guess, healing classes. Uh, Skycaller. Skycallers look a bit um, interesting. Wind and Water, it says. Wind and Water. So at least they break the classes down into two, two spell trees. Punishers. These look like your basic tanks, I suppose. Tank class. Uh, Gunslinger. I've actually haven't seen this one yet. So if you want to use guns, that's sort of interesting. And then uh, the occultist. Now the occultist I think is really interesting. Um, because it's a female only class. Uh, there are no men in this. You, you cannot be a male occultist. So that's kind of interesting. But they are uh, healers. Powerful healers. So that's kind of interesting. Um, not available to be Chromians are what? Assassins? Yeah, like a ninja. Hi. Yes, talking about you, ninja. Um, yeah, basically your rogues, your assassins, ninja types. And this here, this is a... Uh, oh, Spectromancer. Uh, this looks like a mage who uses, um, you know, pets or spectral beings, it says. Spectral beings. So kind of maybe... <laughs> Necromancer-like. And then finally it's... Thaumaturge, I'm not sure. Uh, which is curses. So, Thaumaturge and Spectromancer kind of both sound like warlocks, if you ask me, but I'm not sure how they're different. Curses versus pets, I suppose. And I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah. And an occultist, cute dwarf occultist. And there you have it. Uh, those are all of our classes and races. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Kind of excited to play. So tune in in the next episode and we will go over character creation. Maybe some of their uh, racial traits. And we will uh, make a character together. Uh, thank you. Thank you for tuning in.